So I welcome you to the lecture series on digital image processing and today our topic is image restoration and reconstruction. Before starting this lecture, I want to just go through a quote that is by Immanuel Kant. Things which we see are not by themselves what we see. It remains completely unknown to us what the objects may be by themselves and apart from the receptivity of our senses. We know nothing but our manner of perceiving them. Well, I leave this quote to you guys. Said what actually Immanuel Kant means to say through this quote. Well, our main will be go will be to go through few important points through this lecture and the upcoming subsequent lectures on the image reco <coughs> reconstructions series and they are what is image restoration noises and images noise models noise removal using special domain filtering noise removal using frequency domain filtering Okay, this will be our important topics. Now, what do you mean by image restorations? Image restorations attempts to restore images that have been degraded. And I hope you guys know what does it mean by restore. Mean trying to put the image or trying to convert the image to its previous original form as much as possible okay so this means what we need to identify the degradation process and attempt to reverse it because you know that because of the de degradation the image now being what destroyed no i cannot use the word the destroyed but its quality being degraded so we need to reverse this process. So identify the degradation process and attempt to reverse it. Then it is a kind of similar to image enhancement, but more objective now. And you guys all know that, that this term, objective term, is related to what? So mathematical equations. Okay. Look at this image. This is the degraded version then after the restoration process we'll get an image like this so it is very clear then to you why we have to go through this image restoration process clear now noises noises and images the source of noise in digital image arises during the image acquisition process that is also known as digitization and transmission. Image sensors can be affected by ambient conditions. Interferences can be added to an image during transmissions. Well, you may look at this image. You see that during the acquisition phase, we need to go through several steps and at that time, noises may be added to the original version of the image. And during the transmission position, uh, step also, these this different interferences may occur. Okay, so that's why noise affect the images or we can say that noise come to our images. Now, we have different noise model. Noise model means what? We consider a noisy images to be modeled through a noise model. Say, consider this equation. Zxy is equal to fxy plus eta xy. You may note down this equation. Where fxy is the original image pixel. And eta xy is the noise term. And GXY is the resulting noisy pixel. See, we are concerning to every pixel. Okay, because each of the pixels may be 
sense or maybe affected by the noise term individually. Okay, so that's why this equation zxy is equal to fxy plus eta xy. So fxy our original pixel and eta xy is the main reason behind this noise that is the noise term and then after that addition we'll get our noise pixel that is zxy. So if we can estimate the noise model, we can figure out how to restore the image. Is it clear or not? Because if we can find out what is this actually, then obviously we can restore the image. So there are different models for the image noise term, eta xy. We have Gaussian, that is the most common. Then we have Rayleigh, then we have Erlang, that is also known as gamma. Then we have exponential. Then we have uniform. Then we have impulse, that is also known as salt and peeper noise. And this is also very common. So look at the diagrams here. You can take a screenshot now. This is the Gaussian version. This is the Rayleigh. This is the Erlang. This is the exponential. And this is the uniform. And this is the impulse. So mostly you have to know this one. Gaussian, how the curve is going, and the exponential and the impulse. Now, noise example. The test pattern to the right means talking about this image is ideal for demonstrating the addition of noise. Now, this is the original image, okay, and you will see this is the histogram. I hope you guys already know histogram because I have explained this term in different lectures uh, in our image processing lecture series also and in, in our machine learning lecture series also. Okay, so this is the original histogram. Now, after adding some noises, the image took these different forms. Because of the different noise model, it has different outputs. This output and this histogram is for Gaussian, this for Rayleigh, and this for Arleigh. Okay? Then exponential, this one. Then uniform, this one. And this is the impulse. So, main important thing here you need to know about the variation of the histogram also. See, in the case of Gaussian, how the curve is flowing. Okay, and say in the case of impulse, how the curve looks like. This is the impulse affected, this is the salt and pepper noise affected image, and this is the Gaussian. Okay, so you may take the screenshot for this histogram. Now, we need to filter the images for removing the noises, isn't it? So for that, we will use special filters of different kinds to remove these different types of noises. And out of this, the arithmetic mean filter is a very simple one and it can be calculated like this. See, it's uh, very simple actually. Fxy is equal to 1 by mn, then summation as the belongs to SXY of ZST. So this is implemented as the simple smoothing filter and it is going to blur the image. Basically it deals with the arithmetic mean. As you have seen that we are calculating what? Arithmetic mean. MN obviously stands for the dimension of the image. So that's why this is known as arithmetic mean filter and as it is very easy to calculate. So this is a simple one and it will blur the image. Well, the, about the next filters, we'll discuss in the next lecture. Then the question for this lecture is that, what is noise model? Means define noise model. Okay, comment your answer. Well, meet you in the next lecture. Till then, take care, bye-bye.